Hey folks, uh, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today I'm in Homer, Alaska, and my hope today is to find otter pups. And uh, so the last couple weeks, the otters have had all their pups, and they're up around the end of the spit and around here in these docks here. And uh, so that's what I'm out looking for today. Uh, there's also a ton of sea ducks and eagles and everything. And uh, but anyway, I'm gonna keep looking. So far, I've only found a couple males. Uh, no mamas, no pups, but hopefully soon we'll find some. Anyway, uh, talk to you soon. So, uh, if you're looking for sea otters, one of the tricks is to listen. Um, what you'll hear if you walk around, you hear crunch, crunch, crunch. And what it is, these otters are going down the bottom, they're getting shells, especially around these docks, and they just you'll hear them. And also, if they've got babies, you'll hear them squealing when mama goes away. So, like right here is a otter munching away. So, as you walk along, you listen. Of course, the dog behind me wouldn't make a lot of noise, you'd hear it better. But anyway, it's a good tip for trying to find otters um, around the docks. And a lot of times they're not real scared of you unless they got pups. And this guy doesn't give a crap about me. He just went under. So anyway, listen, keep your ears open, keep your eyes open. We hear a little crunch, crunch, stop, look around. Sure enough, you'll probably find an otter. R5 or the R6 too, I believe. One of the disadvantages of the EVF is there's no side cups for these. So right now I got the sun just hammering me from the right. So when you try to put your eye up, it's just like your phone with a lot of glare. You're getting glare in here. So what I have to do is wear a cap or my hoodie, grab it to shade So I can make sure I got good exposure. So hopefully somebody's gonna build a cup like they had before where it had the 
the side eyepieces. So um, there is one disadvantage of EVF with the Canon R5. Otherwise, love this camera. Anyway, back to shooting these baby otters. I guess a little bit about settings and shooting these otters um, or for most animals mammals in general uh, for these guys I'm shooting FH which is enough focal plane to get a little bit out of focus on parts of the body but get their heads and mom and baby's heads but uh, so bright today I almost want to have an MD drop in but have to buy those one of these days but uh, yeah, so about f8, f9 uh, with this lens. It's f4 lens, lets in a lot of light. Uh, shutter speeds, they're just bobbing right now. So 640, I don't go under 500 with most of it. Um, for most mammals though, I usually shoot at least 1,800. The reason is that a mammal's eye moves back and forth. And if they move at all and you're like, 120, 1 200, something like that. You can get a little motion blur in that eye. And just the eye is the most important part of getting a picture. Um, but I'm pretty good distance, distance out on these guys. Um, so the eye, I'm going to get it, but it's not going to have a lot of color in it. Um, but like for foxes and uh, most mammals like that, I try to keep that shutter speed a little higher if I can. Depends on the light. Um, again, it's just because the eye moves. On a bird, bird moves his head his eyeball doesn't move uh, a bird's looking at you he's looking to the side of you he's not looking other than an eagle or a raptor uh, your ducks and stuff they turn their head looking that way he's like he's looking at the camera if he's looking this way he's looking both those ways kind of like chickens uh, raptors they can move their eye uh, it's usually not as much on a blur on a bird's eye but mammals eyes you got to get them so ISO adjust it uh, with these with the EVF you can, if you put your histogram in the window you can tell if you're you know in the center if you're overexposed or underexposed so um, that's about it uh, pretty simple stay in manual mode pick your shutter speed pick your aperture and then adjust your your ISO to match you know get the get the brightness watch your histogram put a little right put a little left depends on what you're wanting for exposure um, pretty much it. cool about shooting right over here is on the other side of this harbor from me is all the crab boats you see all the TV shows uh, the time bandit the Bering Sea all those boats that you see on that show they're just literally right across actually the time bandits just literally straight across from me um, the background of these pictures are the summer bay um, it's crab boat I don't know if it's on that show though but uh, it's kind of cool love homer uh just beautiful beautiful i got tons of seagulls hovering around me i've got these four or five otters out here one of them's got a pop on her belly that's my whole focus of this video but it is just super super cool i'll see if i can spin this around and see if you can uh, see this 
Well, it'll flip around. There we go. You probably can't see it real good, but right over there somewhere is the time bandit. My otters are just out here in front of me between me and these other boats and that's about it. So it's just a, it's a gorgeous day down in Homer. Um, it's been so cloudy and snowy and rainy through most of South Central Alaska or, and uh, it's nice to have this gorgeous bright day. Um, I'm almost not used to it uh, having to relearn how to shoot in the light um, but it's just gorgeous. But uh, Hope you enjoy this video that I'm showing you of these otters and hopefully we get some really good pictures. I may go out later this afternoon, tomorrow morning, to look for some of these sea ducks. I saw long-tailed ducks, scops, uh, golden eyes, just tons of stuff. Uh, Red-breasted merganser, common merganser, uh, everything's out here. Of course, eagles, uh, harbor seals. So hopefully I have a lot of that in this video or maybe I'll make two videos. Anyway, I'll uh, let you get back to it. Well guys, I think that's a wrap here for Homer. Uh, it's been a great couple days. I always love coming down to Homer. Uh, lots of ducks, sea ducks are everywhere. Eagles, harbor seals, sea lions. And of course, what we came down here for was the otters and the baby pups that are out here. Uh, they were just amazing to see and to photograph and video. And I uh, hope you enjoy the video we got. And I've got some pictures after this. I haven't looked through them yet. I went through three cards, probably 4,000 photos I took this weekend on top of video. So it'll take me a while to get through those. But anyway, hope you enjoy. And if you do, please subscribe. Uh, talk to you soon.